Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to uh, the video. If you're new here, hi, it's good to see you. I don't know who you are, but you look great. You look fantastic. You, do you, do you model part-time? Ah, okay. Um, in this video, we're talking about uh, text on uh, anything. Anything? Yeah, you can put text on anything. Put it on a wall, put it on a ball, put it on a cat. I suppose you could put it on a rat named Matt. I'm sorry if your name is Matt. I didn't mean anything by it. Uh, so let's just get started. Um, I always like to reset my studio back to default in case you want to follow along and we want to make sure our screens look the same. And I do that by going up to window, studio, reset studio. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started. So first what we're going to do is go over to the pen tool on the left-hand side in your tools menu here. It looks like a pen. You can also hit P on your keyboard. And I'm just going to click that. And uh, what I'm going to do is just draw a line uh, up like this. And uh, now I have a line and you're impressed. So uh, I got this line on the canvas. You can see the curved line has been created here in my layers panel. Now what I'm going to do is just grab my text tool over here in the tools panel. I'm going to click on that. And you can see my mouse has changed to the artistic text tool with the A with the target, which means I can start typing text. But when I draw a line, if I get close to this line here, See my mouse changes to this T with a little squiggly, squiggly line on it, which means I can now write text on a curve. So I'm gonna click here, and now my mouse gives me the option to type, and I can type, uh, hello, I'm typing on a line, uh, and you're impressed. Now, a couple things to note here. Uh, this green little thing on the left-hand side here is where the text starts, so you can move this back and forth. And the red is where it stops. So I'm going to just make this text maybe a little bit bigger. Well, we're at 59. Let's go to 70. No, let's go to 75. All right. And I could do the normal stuff. I could center this. So now it's in the middle. So does this look very impressive? No. Does it look like it's 1997 Microsoft Word? Yeah, I was there. It does. Uh, but I just want to show you a basic idea how this works. Let's make it a little more fancy. And how do we do that? Well, we write on a flamingo. So we got this flamingo here, he's looking good. And uh, let's say you wanted to add some text around the body of this flamingo to look, just kind of follow the curve of the flamingo. So let's do that. Got my, uh, I'm gonna grab my pen tool here. Again, hit P on your keyboard. And uh, I'm just gonna follow the curve around this uh, flamingo here. So I'm gonna start maybe here. And I'm just gonna draw out around this flamingo as best I can quickly with my pen tool. I think this will work. Let's do that. So now I have this line, you can see my curve has been created. I can turn it on and off. So I got this purple line, I made it so you can see it. And now I'm just gonna go and grab my uh, text tool again. I'm gonna get really close to the line here. My mouse is gonna change to squiggly squiggly. And I'm gonna write flamingo. And um, now if I scroll, go out here, you can see the text has gone around the flamingo. And um, it's beautiful. It's truly beautiful. I'll, maybe I'll add a drop shadow on this because I can't help myself. I just need a drop shadow on this. And I'll just make this text a little bit more bold. There we go. Flamingo. And again, uh, I have these lines so I can make it this way. Now, if you go too far, it's going to flip. Um, but we'll show you that in the next example. But yeah, you can move this where it starts and stops here on the end. Of course, you can highlight it. You can change the font to whatever you want. I like impact, but you know, I could change it to this font. Um, and I could also, um, actually, you know, I'm going to show you the next example. But uh, that is how you would add text to a curve in an example like this. And uh, let's do one more thing. Okay, now a lot of people do logos and circles and all that kind of stuff, uh, text around a circle. I want to show you that. So first thing we're going to do is go over to our shapes and we're going to grab a circle. And I'm going to hold shift while I draw out this circle so it's a perfect circle here. So now I got this circle. I'm going to center it right there. And I'm going to go over to my text tool here again. I'm going to go over to my line and it should change to the squiggly, squiggly thing. Oh, sorry. Ah, here, see, here's a learning example. Here I am trying to show you guys what to do. And I haven't, I haven't done what I'm supposed to do. You got to highlight the right layer that you want text on. So I got to go highlight my ellipse tool here in the uh, layers panel. So I'm going to go over to my um, thing here. I'm going to uh, type, I'm going to type design method. And again, so this is where it would sort of come into play. So I'm going to drag this down to the center here. I'm going to drag this one up to the center because I want it to be sort of centered. Now I could highlight this text. I could go up to my center and it would be centered here. And I'm going to change the font to a little bit uh, bigger, maybe like this. So I have this. 
And a couple things I can do here. Number one is I can also reverse this to go inside. So see this button at the very top here? It says reverse text path. If I click on that, now my text is gonna flip to inside. Now it looks upside down, but what you do is you start moving these uh, certain stop nodes here around this way. So now my text is on the inside. So that's one way to um, flip your text from outside to inside. And I'll also show you, I have the text here. If I finish typing what I want, you can see my cursor's blinking at the end of the D there. If I hit enter, it allows me to type inside the circle as well, uh, upright. So I'm gonna say established yesterday. And uh, let's make it a bit smaller. And same thing, I have these nodes. Now it's a bit weird because I have nodes here and here. So these nodes here, this green one here and here are set for this one. And these ones kind of up here are set for this one. So I'm gonna move these down and I'm gonna center these guys. So this guy's nice and centered. I'm gonna go hit the center button and we are good to go. Oh, he's not really centered. There we go. Mm, there we go. So that is how you would write text on a circle. And that is how you would flip it from inside to outside and move it around. One other quick tip I'm gonna show you, uh, if you highlight any of your text here, there's also something called baseline. So up here, right next to this reverse um, text path, there is a baseline thing. If I click on this and move this baseline around, it'll change uh, how I want it. So I want it more inside the circle, if I want it outside the circle, you can play with baseline to figure that out. And one other quick thing is if you highlight your text, and say I liked it, but I wanted it spread out a bit more, but I didn't want the text particularly any bigger. Uh, on, a, on a Mac, you're gonna hit Option. On a PC, you're gonna hold Alt. And your arrow keys, you have arrow keys that point like left and right, up and down. So if you hold Alt on a PC, Option on a Mac, hold it down and hit your right arrow key, you can spread your text out uh, to go wider if you hit the um, arrow to the right. And if you hit the arrow to the left, it goes smaller. Now you can use this in any way text. You don't just have to do it in this. Um, just a little design method tip for you to make things a little, little faster and fancy. I will note though, when you draw your circle, um, it's gonna disappear because it becomes a text path. So it, it, it's gone now, but you can see everything's fitted perfectly in the circle. So let's do one more quick example using that. Oh, Flamingo, you're back. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for this. Okay, I got this little buggy here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle around it as best I can, maybe like this. I'll shrink this guy a bit maybe. Sure, that works. And then, so yeah, so this is how people would, you know, usually you would make a logo in something like Affinity Designer, but if you want something in the middle with some text around it, um, I've got my ellipse selected here. I'm gonna go back to my text tool. And I'm gonna wait till it changes. I'm gonna change this to uh, Amish Driving School. And I'm gonna move these this way and this way, and I'm gonna uh, center it. And then at the end of this, I'm gonna type, I hit enter so I can type inside. I'm gonna say um, horse power, LOL. And uh, let's move this guy down to the center and bring this one up here to the center. And uh, let's make it a little bit smaller, maybe like uh, this. And there you have it. Um, <laughs> Amish driving school, uh, logo. So uh, I hope that was helpful. That is how you um, can draw text on anything or any shape. You can follow around uh, shapes and curves and all that kind of stuff to add something else to your designs. If this was helpful, you know, me being a YouTuber, I got to ask if you can just tap, tap, tap that like button. Um, that would be fantastic. And if you've uh, never seen my videos before and you found this was helpful and entertaining or anything positive, uh, why don't you subscribe? I'll, you know, I'm putting out new videos all the time. The, the, the channel's slowly growing. Everyone's having a good time. Dinner parties. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm just going off the fly here. If you like it, subscribe. That'd be awesome. I appreciate everybody who watches. I read all the comments. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll get right back to you. And thank you so much for watching.